can't see them. I've gone, I've gone down the wrong path. Ow! Oh, <laughs> bloody hell! Lost already! Strider! You're watching the Hairy Strider with Dickie Boy, Richie Sharp Eye, and this is Country Filer Facts. Don't turn off. Whatever you do, don't hit. Right, Rich, where are we, buddy? Um, Fordham Hall Estate, I understand. Used to Fordham be Hall a estate. big estate. Uh, I think it was a, a, a lady passed away in her elder years, luckily, and bequeathed the land to, to the people of the folk of Fordham. Aye. So, Rock yeah. on Fordham. You see them posts there? Go on. You see that post? Yep. What's that? Well, I think they used to be an old path. They've moved past. But, 2007 World Scout Jamboree in Chelmsford. They all come up here. I will spot them all the way around. And they dug them in and painted them their country's colours. Why did they do that? Because they had nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. He's on it. I'm going to give you a clue what these are. Mm. <laughs> Small ox, bull ox, ox, ox eyes, ox, ox flower, ox, daisy. Ox. Oh. I just call it a daisy and have done with it. Is it bigger than the normal ones? All right. Sweet. Who remember? Do you remember that plant? <clears throat> Which one? This one. Oh, that would be um, red clover boy. That looks purple to me though. So you've got your colours all wrong. Why is it red? Why is it red? Yeah, why is it called red clover? Because um, in the 1700s when it was named, they had a limited palette cover. They didn't have like a Dulex chart in them days. Well, yeah, so but they could have the difference between purple and red. No, uh, still limited. I think they only had um, four, no three primary colours in them days. Mixed some up a bit. I think they've got a purple. Maybe they've got a pink. Are you talking rubbish? <laughs> is that real? Yeah, of course it's real. Is that a real fact? Yeah. Picasso, well, he's a bit, uh, he's a bit later, sorry. Um. <laughs> Cough. <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice sunny evening. That was a brilliant walk you just did there, Rich. What do you mean? <laughs> What's going on? I don't care what anyone says, that is going on. <laughs> oh, it's not flowering yet. 
Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of flour there. Go on. Trefoils. Trefoils? Yeah. Good oh. for um, common blue butterflies. All right. The flowers start going a bit red. Yeah, there's a bit. Oh, of I can see there's a bit. They're a bit red when they start. Yeah, yeah. And they turn a bit red as well. The edge petals. Common name or a local name: eggs and bacon. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. great, great food plant. I'll have uh, eggs, bacon, please. Get that on a plate. You'd be like, what the? It's that. What are you doing? Do you know the ironic thing? Come on. I think it's in the pea family. All right, does it produce like a pea? Yes. Well, ain't it beautiful? Let's just get a shot of that here. Okay, now bring in the dancing girls. So, this beaut of a plant. Yellow rattle. Oh, hello. Yellow rattle. Can you, it's quite a good example here actually. Can you actually see that where this is quite dominant in this yeah. area, what, what is there not as much of as over there? Daisies. Not oh, daisies. All right, no. I oh, know. Grass, boy. Grass. Grass. Right, okay, go on. And that is why, it's because this little baby is parasitic to grass. Oh, is it? Yeah, yellow rattle. It's good because it cuts down the competition of a grass, aggressive grass species coming into the meadow and allows like, all the ground flora, the real micro plants to flourish instead of being crowded out by the grass. Yellow rattle, because when the seed pods dry out, it rattles in the wind bar. Oh! Ooh, but... imagine... Hello, there's something in there. Yeah, I did. And it sounded just like a bird of prey. Yeah, I was say they're going to be like kestrel, sparrowhawk, barn owl, tawny owl, I reckon in there. I reckon it should be a barn owl, because this is perfect habitat for barn owls. I hear a skylark. <laughs> I can't see it because, Rich, it's... I'm in the sky, though. It's too high. Why is it too high, Rich? <laughs> And so his chicks on the floor don't get eaten because it's a ground nesting bird. So it goes up there and sings a lot, so all the predators are distracted by that. Ah. And then they follow that when it drops down, then it hops through the long grass, away from the nest. And when you say predator, you're not talking about the alien in the classic movies from the late 80s, early 90s. I'll look back. And he will, next week in <laughs> Country Filer Facts. It's a play on words, yeah? So... <laughs> It's not Filofax, which is uh, common in the late 80s, early 90s. It was like a, a diary. Um, it's not that. It's a play on that. It's We're in the country. There is no file, but there is a program called Country File. And Rich is here doing facts. And I love the 80s. Filofax. With you. Yep. I was born in the 80s. Unlucky. <laughs> 70s boy. Oh, that's a decade they want to write off, isn't it? Golf fans, brilliant. No, it is. Choppers, no, it's the deck. No, scooters, yeah, but the thing. Forwarding. I tell you who ruined it. I tell Space hoppers. I tell you who ruined the 70s. Incredible Hulk. No, he didn't. Come ruin on, the 70s. what? What, uh, what bad? So I tell you who ruined the 70s. Hulk Hogan. No. I'll just sing you a little theme tune. Jim will fix it for you. Who? And you. Oh, and that's gone. That's and gone. has he been a race? Oh, I see. A yeah. race. Yeah. Jimmy Savile. Got bad memories about that. And raise him, and then the 70s is okay again. Yeah, yeah. With ya. Yeah. 70s is okay, peeps. <clears throat> all joking aside, these videos are all about getting out into the wild. And the bizarre thing is, the beauty of having Rich here, is the fact that he knows about things that are literally on my doorstep. And the same for you, there's things on your doorstep, you just need to go and find it. And the beautiful thing is that, the, that there is so much of it around in this green and pleasant country of ours. Ain't that right, Rich? Yeah, don't be sensible in it. It's here to be enjoyed. Exactly. Enjoy it. You've got to get out and enjoy it. And I, th this, the whole point of these videos is that, yeah, we've been a bit daft and whatever. Oh, bog. <laughs> but it really is about getting out and enjoying the great British countryside. We're in Essex and so we're going to be exploring the Essex countryside. 
how far we'll go. Infinity and beyond. Word, brother. So we've got some important signage up here. So it's always worth noting important signage when you're out. Um, oh, it's a post there, look. <laughs> Blue and white. Road, see? Look, 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 that is it. If you could sum up the Essex countryside in a single short piece of video footage, this would be it. Rich, why didn't I bring a bloody drone? 